They're not sending their best. They're sending people that have lots of problems. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. And some, I assume, are good people. Everyone, welcome to the show. So evidently, a hacker who uses the name Altam Beasley, not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but this person, if, if I doubt that's their real name, but they were able to access a file that contains sworn testimony regarding the allegations against Republican Congressman Matt Gates. So this is, of course, related to the allegations that Gates paid women and at least one underage girl for sex. Um, the hacked file is said to contain testimony from this girl, from the then 17-year-old, also a witness who claims to have seen Gates having sex with the minor, also testimony from the woman who drove the 17-year-old to the party where all of this allegedly went down. And keep that in mind because in my travels online on social media, see a lot of right-wing people going, oh, didn't her mother drive her to this party as if her mother would take her there for a sex party? Eh, wrong, mother was not involved. So <laughs> anyway, um, and the woman who drove her to this party, by the way, who took her there, she also claims that she had sex with Gates on the same night at that same party. So these hack documents were part of a lawsuit that I mentioned previously. Um, this was the defamation case that was brought by a Florida man, that's a Florida political operative and businessman named Chris Dorworth. You guys might remember um, both the 17 year old girl who is now in her 20s um, and Gates's former good friend, Joel Greenberg, who's in prison for these same crimes, they both had accused Dorworth of hosting some of these quote unquote sex parties. And they said, this is where this went down, was at his home. So he filed a lawsuit and this all came out. So th this file also contains testimony from Dorworth, his wife, also Gates's former campaign treasurer, because he was also accused of being at that same party. Um, in addition, there was also a gate log for Dorworth's property. So that showed who was entering his gated community on the night of this alleged encounter. Um, and check this out. The then 17 year old testified under oath, by the way, something that Gates has not done. So that's another thing that you should bring up if you see people online trying to defend Gates. Why is it that he hasn't testified under oath, right? All these other people have, what is he afraid of if he's done nothing wrong? Anyway, I digress. So this 17 year old testified under oath that she had sex with Gates on top of an air hockey table at Dorworth's house and that Dorworth was watching, that he watched them. So freaking creepy. Why you would wanna watch your friend have sex, I don't get. Um, if it's true, totally gross. But here's the reason I bring this up. In his deposition, in this lawsuit, Dorworth was asked about her testimony and the fact that she said, oh, he was there and he was watching. His comeback, what he testified to, is that he wasn't there. <laughs> yeah, this is at his house, right? Th this is his story. These people all got together at his home. Like he doesn't deny that there was something there, that there was a party there. But he is saying, no, on the night that all of these people, including some of my good friends at the time, went to my house, had sex, had orgies allegedly, were taking drugs at my house, I wasn't there. I, I had to be elsewhere. I just, I just told him, go ahead, have fat, have at it, have fun. <laughs> I peeked behind the serpent's eye, but he wasn't there. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, the stories these people tell. So, 
Yeah, that's probably why Dorworth dropped the lawsuit, why he dropped this defamation case. I mean, his attorney was probably like, seriously? <laughs> seriously, guy? Like, that's what you're going with? That's, that's what we're using as a defense? Uh, anyway, a source told the New York Times that the hack documents are completely unredacted. So they show all of these women's full names including the then 17-year-old, which is why nobody has given her name, because she was underage at the time, so she was technically a victim of statutory rape. Um, but the source said these documents are way more damaging to Gates than they are to the witnesses. So far, the hacker hasn't released these records publicly, but it may not matter because the House Ethics Committee is said to be meeting tomorrow to decide whether or not to release this report of theirs to the public. And a source told CNN, if the Ethics Committee report contains information that they gathered from this Dorworth lawsuit, quote, it would be highly damaging to the congressman. Uh, we are also learning of new allegations against Gates, and this comes from an attorney named Joel Leppard. So I mentioned him yesterday, Leppard or Leppard. He represents two women who testified before the House Ethics Committee in, in this Gates investigation, and he is spilling all the tea. So the attorney confirmed that Gates paid the women or paid two women, I should say, not these same women, but two women uh, for sex using the Venmo app. And here's what he told ABC News. Florida attorney Joel Leppard adding both of his clients testified before the House Ethics Panel after being subpoenaed by Congress, describing how Gates paid them both for sex using Venmo. They essentially put the Venmo payments on the screen and, and asked about them. And, and my clients repeatedly testified, what was this payment for? Well, that, that was for sex, yes. And then Leppard also told ABC News that Gates allegedly paid two women to travel with him to New York for sex. So check out this part of the interview. Do you know how many times, how many parties your clients went to and had sex with Representative Gates? Well, not all of them were parties. So uh, some of them were events such as they, they attended uh, election events like at hotels. They went with him to New York for a, a, a taping on Fox News. Um, but uh, approximately perhaps 10 times, uh, 10 to 15 times. Their testimony is that Representative Gates took them across state lines for the purpose of having sex and paid them for that. That's correct. So there you go. Um, you know, again, there, I mean, there have to be records, right? There would be flight records. There would be all kinds of things that you could verify this with. And just as I warned yesterday, Republicans are coming out hard against this. They, Republican members of Congress are swinging. They are coming out swinging to try to protect Gates and themselves, I believe, as I mentioned because the woman with the most annoying voice on the planet, you know who I'm talking about, she is threatening to expose Republicans' dirty laundry if this Gates report is released. Marjorie Taylor Greene is threatening to release all, not just details about other people's sex lives in, in Congress, but all of the Jeff Jeffrey Epstein files. So in a Twitter post, Green wrote, quote, for my Republican colleagues in the House and Senate, if we are going to release ethics reports and rip apart our own that Trump has appointed, then put it all out there for the American people to see. Yes, all the ethics reports and claims, including the one I filed, all your sexual harassment and assault claims that were secretly settled, paying off victims with taxpayer money. The entire Jeffrey Epstein files, tapes, recordings, witness interviews, but not just those, there's more. Epstein wasn't slash isn't the only asset. If we're going to dance, let's all dance in the sunlight, I'll make sure we do. 
So, I mean, don't threaten me with a good time, Marjorie. Do it, right? Please, please do it, Marjorie. And here's the thing. I mean, I don't even care. I, if Democrats are on there, if Democrats are exposed, let's see it. Let's see it all. I would venture a guess. It's mostly Republicans. <laughs> but, um, you know, here's the thing. If she has all this information, isn't Marjorie Taylor Greene the one who claims to be for the people and she's out there exposing all the dirty deeds? She's supposed to be exposing all the swamp in, in Congress and in D.C. Why hasn't she come forward with this information before? Right? I mean, if I was one of her voters and supporters, I would really be questioning this why she hasn't already done this. And then, you know, what is her, <laughs> what is, what is the, the, um, what did she say? She had submitted some, some document or she had submitted uh, an ethics report on someone. I mean, I would love to see that because, you know, we can only imagine with the way she is. <laughs> what it might be, you know, the gazpacho police came after me and they used a Jewish space laser to sexually assault me. <laughs> I mean, maybe something crazy like that. But anyway, oh my gosh. Uh, I, it is just disgusting all the way around. It, you know, she's literally keeping secrets, hiding secrets from the American people and keeping them in her back pocket to use as leverage to cover for a man who may have trafficked an underage girl, who may have had sex with an underage girl, and literally paid women to have sex with him. And that really, I mean, above all else, I would think is probably the most embarrassing thing for Gates to have to admit, like to have it come out for his wife and his family to see that like, yeah, I'm such a loser. I'm such a freak and I'm, I'm so obnoxious and such a, you know, disgusting frat boy that women don't want to have sex with me. And so I had to pay for it. Yeah. And before I let you guys go, if you were wondering like just how low, because if you think what Marjorie Taylor Greene did is low, check this out. If you, if you're wondering how low these people will stoop, to protect Gates. This next bit of news is gonna make it crystal clear how vile these people are. Republican Senator Ron Johnson actually likened the Gates allegations to being transgender. I am not kidding. So Johnson is comparing Gates's alleged crimes, his choice to pay young women and an underage child for sex to grown ass adults who just, you know, by, you know, the, the hand of God, the, the, you know, universe, whatever you, you believe in, they were unfortunately born with altered chromosomes because that's a fact. That's a scientific fact. You can go look it up and see. People who, who are transgender, who, you know, do not believe that they are in the right body, they have altered chromosomes. And they're hurting no one. They're doing nothing to anyone. They're just trying to live their lives and be happy. And this sick bastard is comparing them when someone asked him, when the media asked him about these Gates allegations and this Gates report, his argument was, oh, well, I didn't see the Democrats getting all upset about, you know, Joe Biden's nomination for so-and-so and so-and-so. And, -so. and he named transgender people as if they're equal. These people are sick. They're twisted. This is what the Republican Party has become. Or, you know, maybe not. Maybe they were always this demented and just Trump allows them to fly their freak flags. You know, it just didn't come out until Trump came along and unleashed their, their worst instincts, their worst behavior that was there all along. So anyway, I will let you know when I hear more and definitely, you know, we'll see what happens tomorrow with the House voting, but 
yeah, you got Marjorie Taylor Greene, who else knows or who else, you know, is out there that we don't even know about who who may be, you know, telling these people behind the scenes, hey, you do this, you release this report, I, I got this dirt on you. I mean, who knows what blackmail could be being used at this very moment? We'll see. All right. Thank you all so much for watching and listening. Please like, please share and subscribe. Please donate if you can. Love you all. Take care. Talk with you soon.